Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, and we're back with another episode of Gotham. Before we get into today's episode, I want to say a big thank you to Frank Tremel and Ollie Brown for being Patreon super supporters. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. Everyone else, you can find all of the perks and rewards available through Patreon in the link below, including full, unedited reactions. Um, now, I want to point out very, very quickly, um, I apologize if you, at any point you hear construction work in the background. Right outside the window just there is a station platform for trains where they go choo-choo, they stop, let people off, let people on, go choo-choo again. Um, and they are currently doing construction work on the platform, so it's keeping me up all night because it's 24-hour construction. But um, it's something we're having to deal with, so I apologize about that if that's what you hear at any point during this reaction. So, let's talk about Gotham. Let's talk about the thing that we're here to see. And last episode, Edward Nigma carried out a very smart and devious plan to get Jim Gordon locked up, and that's exactly what happened. Um, we saw the murder of a police officer, a bombing of a train station, and Jim's fingerprints and presence all over it. Um, obviously, all constructed by the mastermind that is the Riddler. Um, we're seeing him slowly come more and more into that Riddler character now, you know, he's placing the green, you know, sort of question marks all around, um, he's really playing a dangerous game because, you know, he is, he is basically wanting to toy with those who he decides to sort of, um, you know, target, and in doing so, there's, there's ways that he could be doing this easier, like, he could just straight up probably kill people, but he wants to toy with them, he wants to do it in the very strange way that he gets a rush from it. And I get a feeling that whilst it may not directly contribute to an immediate capture, some point down the line, it's going to bite him in the arse. Jim Gordon will get out. He'll be proven innocent. It happens. You know, it's, it's, we're in a show that's, you know, Jim Gordon's the main character. He's not going to be condemned as a criminal for the entirety of the five seasons of the show. Um, but the last episode was really fun. Um, but it was also really frustrating because I hate seeing Jim Gordon sort of, losing you know because he's such a he's such a nice guy you know and he's developed us so much over the last few years um so it's it's not great to see him lose but also we saw barbara wake up which is um gonna be interesting to see what she's like whether she is fixed whether she's still crazy and then what she's gonna do once she's up and about so yeah we'll have to see but anyway we're going to find out. We're going to watch the episode. So let's jump into it and see what happens. Damn. I'm willing to bet Jim's made some enemies in here just through his time as a cop. You don't fret so. I'm sure you'll see a lot of familiar faces over nothing. Why is it every single prison officer... Has got to be an absolute dick. Can we not have one nice one? Oh dear. I was right when I said he had some enemies in there. She told me of her two poor children, Sasha and Charles. Uh -huh. They suffered at the hands of their abusive father. So they're not blood related. If he is Penguin's dad. And this house heard laughter once again. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! My poor dear, are you hurt at all? No, no, I'm I'm fine. Clumsy girl. Now that sounded like jealousy. To family. <sighs> family. To family. To family. To family. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's going on with this storyline. No, oh, they're just, no, they're just mints. What? Is she trying to kill him? Or did he never need them in the first place? I think they're just a family who's after his estate. And Oswald is a complication that they don't want. Gordon, get a cut. Almost there. Hmm. As soon as boy scout dead by weeks end. Yeah. As soon as he gets out, 
This place is getting cleaned up. Hey, Harvey. Where you going, pig? My little brother ran with the crew to pull off a few bank jobs last year. Papers called him the Red Hood Gang. Remember oh, them? shit. I remember that. Put a bullet in my brother's head. Oh, shit. Oh, who's this? I bet I have my friends on the outside pay her visit. Sure, what she's been missing? Oh, Jim. Oh. Hmm. Does Jim have an ally on the inside? Horrible things. And watch this one. He just lost a child. Oh shit, how did he know that? That's right. I hear everything. I see everything. everything. God damn corrupt senior figures. A killer. All been raped and murdered in our beds. <laughs> raped and murdered. <laughs> He's not that kind of criminal. Murdered, call yes. Call you the penguin. To be fair, I never raped anybody. Yeah. Oh, that's a mercy <laughs> now, isn't it? I suppose if I. If you and me work together, we could have it all. Oh. Squeeze my mom and brother out. Why would we do that? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, things are getting very mixed up, raunchy. <laughs> He's very nimble. Restrain yourself, woman. <laughs> practically your brother. What are you thinking? <laughs> Her womanly charms do not work. He didn't bite. Should I try? No. <laughs> I don't think he's faking. Oh, man, that's... Oh. Let it go. Don't extend your sins. Yeah. He'll survive. Well, back into the infirmary for him. I got no one else to turn to. Who? <gasps> Falcone! He's looking older, man. Time's not been good. Oh man, I'd love for Falcone to get back into the game. You like the fabric? It's Italian. Oh, I love it. Ugh. A man can say so much about himself by what Well, there's the, um, there's the tailcoat. I don't like the white stitching. I weep for today's casual youth. <laughs> But it's very much the aesthetic of the penguin. I'm so glad you suggested we do this. It's been so long. He's not a good tailor. He really is not a good tailor. <laughs> I'm not a hero. And I'm not your friend. I'm just a convict. I know he's trying to protect him. Tonight's movie night. Everyone in the main hall together with the lights off. Be ready. Yeah. For what? What do you think? Just be ready. I like this guy's trying to help Jim. <laughs> oh, they're directing him to a specific seat. Oh shit! He stopped him. Stay down. You're dead. You understand? You understand? You don't think. Get out of here. 
Hang on. No, this is a plan. This is a plan. He was working with him. That's not real blood. This was all planned out beforehand. I, you can't fool me, Gotham. You can't fool me. My bet is he's working with Harvey. Yeah, the rescue squad. Look, what the hell are you doing here? What's the <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Come on, let's go. Fake yep. retractable knife. Can't believe it worked. I'm as surprised as you are. I brought you back to life. Friends. Friends. The kid's gonna save him. I have friends. Where are they when you need them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, that felt good. <laughs> Sorry, I got you into all this. You evil thoughts of violence. Uh oh. Mother said many in his family had the same affliction. So that's where he gets his evil the side from. The gun shop. I was outside this room. Oh. Did, he, did he drink that? Mm. Yes. Why? Why? He's not supposed to. Sasha, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh shit. That looks like a really painful way to go. Penguin is going to kill them all. This is his redemption. You stay down. Or you get back up. What do you think, kid? Oh, he's dead. Puck? No. No, we made it. Come on. Yeah, he had a blood Come clot. On. Come on. Don't give up. Puck. He's gone. Jim, he's gone. I was going to say, you, you took someone with a serious medical condition out of the infirmary. But that's only going to drive him on more. Okay, so... Jim escapes. And at first I thought that the cop that was helping him in the prison was uh, helping him just because he believed he was genuinely innocent or like he was a friend or something. And, well, it actually turns out that he's uh, he's been bought by Falcone. Um, really nice to see Falcone again. You know, he is looking a little bit, you know, older. It's like time has not been kind to him. Um... But, you know, it worked out. They managed to get him out. I don't know how he's going to clear his name necessarily. Um, you know, quite a few bombshells this episode. You know, Lee having lost the baby and then, you know, sort of left the city. Um, was a real kind of emotional punch in the gut, you know, for, for Jim. Um, and I'm sure that he's going to feel guilty that everything that's happened, probably all of the stress, like, of him going to prison and that, probably contributed towards it um the i mean the stuff with penguin at first i was kind of like you know what is the game plan here are they all working together um and then it quickly became clear that it was actually the the, the free you know the mum and the, the son and the daughter as soon as it became apparent they weren't blood related to dwight i was like okay they're trying to just take his property from him. They're trying to basically get themselves into the will and, and then, you know, just wait for him to die and they get all of his stuff. Um, the son doesn't seem like the most bright person in the world. Um, very good looking, but just not the, the brightest in the world. Um, but this, I get the feeling that this is going to be what cracks Penguin again. You know, it's like he, he goes through this rehabilitation he meets his father, um, seems to be living a fairly happy life, and then all of a sudden it's taken from him. And as soon as he realizes that it's going to have been poison, I don't think these three are going to be around for very long. I think the penguin is going to be um, back to his true self. And, you know, if I was them, I would get out of town whilst they can because uh, penguin's going to be gunning for them. So that's going to be interesting to see. But uh, yeah, 
I didn't really like the... I'm glad that the prison story arc is over. I don't much like the prison story arc because they all feel the same, you know? It's like the corrupt warden, the inmates who are outgunning for the person who's in prison, you know, who the person in prison is in there on false charges. It's just such a boring and, and used trope that I'm not a huge fan, so I'm very glad that that's over. Um, but, you know, we'll see where things go next, so... Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you for the next one.